And caught on camera, this power line in Burrillville. The Pasco Utility District shared this video with us. They say a tree limb brought down by the heavy snow caused this right outside their main service center this morning. And we're told this was a spare feeder line and no one lost power because of this, but thousands elsewhere are still in the dark right now. Highway to News reporter Susan Campbell spoke to National Grid about the outages. She joins us now live in Providence with what she's learned. As you mentioned at the top of the show, about 20,000 customers here in Rhode Island are still without power. National Grid tells us they hope to have power fully restored by tonight. Small branches, big limbs, even wires were no match for the wet, heavy snow. The snow is coming down. More weight building up on the on the limbs. Uh, that's what's causing the problem for us. David Graves is a spokesperson for National Grid. He tells us power outages have been scattered throughout the region all day today. While we were out and about, we saw houses, traffic signals, and gas stations in the dark. Usually in a snowstorm, it's a, it's a question of uh, moving as fast as you can, as safely as you possibly can, to get to a number of outages. And we do have outages pretty much across the state. We have. 70 crews working with us in, in Rhode Island today. In addition to that, we have 30 tree crews who can go out there if there is a larger issue where we need to get chainsaws in there to get the limbs and trees cleared away. We've got the manpower to get the job done, but it is a question of moving from one outage to another, and they keep springing up. To report a power outage or down line, call that number on your screen, 800-465-1212. Of course, it is so important to remember that if you do see a downed wire, you should never go near it. You don't know if that wire is live. Just call that number we just mentioned. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.